Joshua is here. Welcome to another video. This is Pure to Progress episode 8, I believe. In this video, we're going to be uh, getting to working towards this blowpipe. The reason I bought this is because I sold my armor to crossbow. It doesn't seem that good. I, also, I'm just really too scared to PK with it. Okay. Sorry for these beeps, but honestly, it just freaks me out. I'm too scared to PK with it. Um, and it doesn't seem that good. It's like only a little bit better than the rune crossbow. Everyone's using anti fire bolts. I'm turning my music off, my noise rather. And yeah, it doesn't seem that good. It's just too risky. Um, especially if I lag out or something, 23 mil for like something that's not even that good. Like the Gmol gets me way more kills than the crossbow does, you know. So we've got a blowpipe so we can make some fun videos with that. I've never actually used this. Um, I can't actually wield it yet, I don't think. Yeah, 75 range. So, yeah, let's um, go to Tazars or something, I guess, you know. Also, I've got some rune darts and dragon darts. I'm not sure which ones I'm meant to use. I th obviously dragon darts, but I think they're really too expensive. Apparently, people PK with the rune darts. I'm not sure about that. Oops, can I put that in the pipe already? Wow. Also, I'm not sure if it works with uh, Arvis. I don't think it does. So, yeah, I'd be shooting, like, 30 of these a fight, which would be, you know, what, 90k per fight? 100k? That's not a good way to uh, make money, but yeah. So, in this video, just be uh, making some money, getting some levels, getting some gains, maybe make some, go to some night. Actually, let's try out some Nightmare Zone right now, then, actually. Let's go get rock cake and try out some nightmare zone with like a fudge fucking um, fudging a fucking magic short bow or something. Let's try that out actually. Let's buy some uh, mithril arrows or something. So I've done a little bit of PKN off video, so I quickly splice in those uh, those clips now. Look at the this is actually we'll show the loots first. Look at some of the weird loots we got. Um, bronze plate body T and black pot plate body T and and legs. Very odd. All right, just dubbing over some audio here. There's not the clips aren't really special. I just, you know, just wanted to show you. So there's a kill there. Nothing special. I did actually get a few emblems. So this is just three kills that are recorded. That, you know, when I did some PK on my free time that wasn't recorded for a PK video, I thought, you know, just throw them in instead of, you know, I guess no one ever seeing them, even though there's nothing special about them. Um, nothing there on that one. And then the next one here. Oh, this, uh, this is the guy with the black. Look at him. Come on, mate. Nah. Uh, bloody rock cake. So I think, obviously, I don't have to rock. I have to get some uh, uh, words. I have to make enough uh, Nightmare Zone points to afford absorption pots first to do this method. I think you can do it on a pure, though, with absorption pots. I really do. Go another rock cake. Give me that one. Here, yeah, slain, mate. Oh, no. I've been lured. Sorry? Is it, are you in the way, you big fat butt? I think I've DC'd. I'm not sure of this part of the quest where I've disconnected. Okay, I think that was just... Whatever. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, um, what I was trying to say is... Let's grab two of these. I think I, if I go into Nightmare Zone and do like a little wave, um, get a few points then afford the um, absorption pots, like go in the first wave with just food and stuff, then I think from there on I should be able to do it and it should be really good training in there. I'm not sure, but we'll, like I say, we'll give it a go, see how it works. And then maybe even training in there with a the blowpipe because I hear that's good with like myth darts or something like that. But yeah. Let's try it out, guys. Should be mad gain. Should be, it'll be nice to go from, like, 20k XP per hour to Zars to, like, 50k or something. It'd be awesome. Come on. Ice Fiend, cool down me shit, mate. Let's go. 1v1. Bonk! What a spec. That should cool him down. One of them. Ugh. Rude. We can teleport to Nightmare Zone. Good time, good time. Drop so quick. With <laughs> so the, the key to this is that you get absorption pots, right? And you stay at 1 HP. And you absorb your way all the way up to, like, 500. And then if you're at 1 HP, they can only hit a 1, a maximum of a 1, you see, if that makes any sense. But yeah, this is not going to work currently, especially with the Dagoff Mother just absolutely tearing into my asshole. So it's not, it wasn't much of a good idea. So we're going to have to rethink this whole strategy here. To at least get a few points to pay for a absorption pot first. That's like the goal. You get out this whole rumble thing, and yeah, I kind of wasn't paying attention, I accidentally let in... The Dagonoff Mother and I think the Shadow of the Storm boss, but I don't see that here actually. So yeah, but what I'm trying to do is currently, I think I could, if I do Mountain Daughter and then maybe another quest, I can set it so it's just a few easy bosses. But yeah, I think which is which is house. I think I can do that. But yeah, currently my goal is to get uh, enough points to get some absorption pots, which means if I get that's the Shadow of the Storm boss right there actually. So yeah, if I get enough enough absorption pots, um, just by doing this actual hard one by eating or whatever. And then I sit at um, 1 HP with the rock cake and then absorption pot. It doesn't matter how strong these guys are. They can only max a 1 is like how it works really. So yeah, I'll try to figure that out. If I can finish this. Look at this. Man, this is incredibly like getting wrecked. It's crazy. Tick eating, tick eating race. You're such a boss. 
Oh, didn't tick eight. So I killed one fucking bouncer. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I need to go in there on like practice or easy mode and try to farm up a few points. Let's see how much that costs. Um, actually, store. <laughs> this is going to be so bad, man. It cost me 22k to go in there. It's just going to take a while to set up. I know it is. Yeah, I can't even buy one fucking dose of absorption pot. Oh my god. Let go do Mountain Daughter and possibly a Witch's House. I think that only gives HP XP. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, that should unlock some easier bosses. And I can chuck them on like normal mode. Hopefully those weren't on hard to kick them out that much already. But chuck them on like normal mode and try to farm a few points, I guess. And then we can, once you've got a few points, we can actually start the training. It has a bit of a complicated setup. But once you get there, it should be a uh, smooth sailing. And this newbie wolf, come on, bro. You die. Got him. Bear head, I'm a fucking bear. It's my fetish. We go. Let's see what it did to my prayer level. Twenty-eight. We're we're at twenty-six for fifty-six combat. But there we go. We can uh do a little bit of the thing now though. I think we have. We we'll go, go go check nightmare zone. See if we have to do any more quests. But that's looking pretty nice. Got that one out the way. Right, so I was trying to lure them, and I got accidentally drunk the potion. So anyway, my current goal is to get Count Draenor on top of me and use that as a safe spot while I, f while I farm some points. Because Count Draenor is uh, obviously the weakest and he'll be hitting the least. And two black demons? Ouch. They'd probably just kite for a while if I had uh, stamina pots. Three black demons, is this a joke? That's actually really unlucky. There we go. Oh, it's a warlord, not Draenor. So I'm pretty much dead. So the idea is I wanted a weak mob in front of me that didn't hit much, kind of while I uh, killed the rest. Because I don't think there's any actually proper safe spots here. Except I'm not going to have like four demons on me, you see. Look at this, it's absolutely ridiculous. So the best I can do is just this. Except I don't have any stamina pots on me. So it's not good. A bit lucky here, I can quickly kill this one that I've almost killed. And then I've got an ultimate force, which will clear all the mobs. It won't give me any points, but it'll kill, kill everything that's in here. Which is kind of what I want. So let's do this. For a ca uh, Count Draenor. Perfect, mate. Look at this. I'm going to have two Count Draenors on me, but I guess that's better than, you know, like, four Black Demons. There, see, so they're level 34. They're going to do a little bit of damage, but I think this is the best thing I can hope for at the moment, I guess. So I'm going to kill that, then that, then hopefully that one, and then hopefully the rest get stuck behind me, you see? So it could be pretty, actually, nice setup if, yeah, I got that, that on the first round. I'm obviously taking damage, but... Less damage than I would be compared to the other guys punching me. Alright, come on. Yes. Yes, there we go. So, if I can buy f <laughs> pretty much one full pot of absorption. That's about it. So, actually, I'm going to die, but see if I can take that with me. I doubt it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I should be able to buy a few bits of absorption. Now, this is pretty stupid trying to try it with uh, so much little bits of absorption. But let's have a look. 6k right so if I go that buy as much as I can let's take it I'm gonna go get a range pot out of the bank um and let's see if how much points we can get if we can you know get more than we go in with doing this uh one hp method then maybe this will be okay looking like a pretty dodgy start hey okay, do it you want to go like this and you want to get yourself down to one hp and then your absorption pot up and yeah they can only hit a one and then you make sure you do this thing on your prayer every minute. Do that once a minute. Activate rapid heal. It'll make sure your, your HP won't regen back up. So if I can quickly do this before a mob spawns on me. Because that's where the problem comes in. If a mob spawns on you, you're absolutely fucked. I don't think you can kill yourself. So careful, race one. Come on. Alright, well, absorption pot 2 HP then. Okay, I got it. So now they can only max a 2. And that's absorption pot. All the way up. Um, yeah, try to get one on me. Once again, start, start with the black demon, so it's not good. But you can see, mate, oh, you, you would be able to see up here. I'm taking two damage per hit, obviously. And yeah, this is the idea. Except, I don't know why I couldn't get down to one. I don't know if I guzzled it wrong or something. But yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll be back. Look at this, guys. I might fuck up my kiting doing this, but holy shit, this is fun. You ready? Watch. Oh, I should have brought G more with me just for that. Just farm points. But look at this. How fun is this, guys? Imagine you do this in the wilderness. You'd be loving it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Donk, donk, donk. Just keep dying. Just keep dying. Look, one spec you make. Get out of here. Wow. Actually did as well. 
That was a joke. Yeah, look, look at the spec, just keep going up. You get these little red and like spawns in here, and that is one of them. There we go, that helped with the point farming. If I get to around 6k, then I'll have uh, more than I had. So, not bad, eh? So, yeah, I think this will work. Stuff this up, and I'm at, um, what do you call it? 2 HP as well, so I'm pretty much taking two times the amount of damage I would be. It was at 1 HP. So we're getting 71k XP per hour with rune arrows and uh, ranging potion. That was obviously a bit skewed because of the spamming of the specs. But it's, it's pretty crazy, man. It's really good training in here. Just wait until I get that blowpipe. Be loving it. Alright, there we go. So I pretty much doubled at that time, right? So I had 5k with my other run with just food. And now I ended up with almost at 14k points. Now, I'm quickly going to buy some rune arrows and stuff from the GE, but the thing is, I'm going to do the hard rumble next time. As long as I can get to 1 HP with a few absorption pots, I should uh, be golden, really. Because, um, like I say, it doesn't matter. It could be like fucking Jad, but, you know, if you've got 1 HP, it can only hit 1. That is, like, the key to it if you don't really get that. So, I'm at 1 HP and I use absorb, but it's, it's kind of, like, not actual HP. So, yeah, no matter what they hit, whatever their max hit is, it's always going to hit 1. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter if it's the strongest thing in the game you're going to be able to tank it. So that is the goal. And we'll get into, hopefully get to 1 HP and um, do a hard rumble. So I should get even more points and then it should be uh, smooth sailing from there on out. There we go. I'm in hard rumble, I say. So these guys are going to be much higher level than that. Hopefully I can still hit them without a problem. If not, then we have a problem. But we're at 1 HP, drinking some of our absorption pots. Let's hope we can make out out of here with more than 12k points. If so, we're good. HP as well this time. I figured out you have to guzzle, not eat. To get below 2 HP. I wasn't paying attention, I died so I didn't get to use all my food for longer, but we ended up getting 54,000 points. So we started off with a food, our first run we got like 1k, then a food run, like running around with proper like trying, we got uh, 5k, and then with our first 5k we turned that into 13k, then our 13k points we've turned into 54k. So you can see there's some extreme exponential growth here that is always going up. I've got 50k worth of potions and that should probably turn into you know like 300k worth of the potions so it's pretty much up from here so yeah it's pretty much a done deal at this point so that's it guys i guess we'll come back when we are uh, got some levels we're only going for one level in this so far i don't know what else we'll do I mentioned i was getting 45k xp per hour which i i think it's pretty good um like i said it's more of a long-term thing it might maybe you might be able to get more xp just at other places but in the long term, this turns out really nice and AFK. And, uh, yeah, once you get the blowpipe in there as well, it gets some of the, you know, 60, 70, 80k XP per hour. It's pretty crazy stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of like building up towards greatness, really. Look at all those fucking pots. That's absolutely delicious. Rip. Uh, we're at 2 HP. We weren't paying attention. Doesn't sound like much. I've gone from 1 to 2, but I'm pretty much taking, you know, double the damage I was before now. So, that's unfortunate, but whatever. As long as we get at least 50k points, which I'm sure we will with double. So yeah, it's fine. We're not going to lose. We're going to. We're still going to, you know, profit in points. So that's awesome. Also, that was fun. I'm really not on the ball. Uh, <laughs> I was. I uh, ran out of absorption pot and died altogether. That's one way to do it though. But then yeah, still end up with more than I had before. So watch this. I chuck it in. I'm still, you know, still should have quite a bit of absorption. This should like almost fill up my whole inventory now, to be honest. Nice. So I wanted to show you guys. Have a look at this, right? Let's not waste our prayer too much. Uh, on him, you ready? Bonk, mate. Okay, you're on the wrong guy. All right, so G all spam. Look at that. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, you gonna? Don't hit shit all. Get on this guy then. I was gonna wonder as well. I wonder if I could train strength in here with like a the skim or whatever. How well how well that would work? It'd probably be decent. But yeah, look at that. Going ham, mate. All right, that, enough of that. That's not working as uh, well as I thought it would. Not on this count, at least on these stats. <laughs> Hello. Ready? But um, There we go. 75 range. Oh, my goodness. We can use the blowpipe now. I'm just going to finish this run, I guess. Uh, you know, just because I'm already in here. But look at the points rate, guys. 162k. Isn't that incredible? And we've still got some absorption pots left. So that pays for like over a whole inventory of absorption pots, really. So yeah, like I say, it just keeps on going and going and going until, yeah, you're at a point where, you know, you can't fail now. So yeah, that's what I was saying when I was first doing this. It looked hard at the start. It was very hard, you know, use a full inventory of food to get 1k points and stuff like that. But then, 
you know, you just slowly, slowly get there and then it gets to a point where, you know, it's done, you're good and you're set forever, really, so, nice, there we go, 166k points, I'll tell you how much we end with, unless I fuck up. I've been here for uh, almost an hour, 39k XP at a rate of 51k XP per hour, and that is accurate, because like I say, I've been here for 39k XP, so yeah, that is actually really good, I reckon, for AFK, well, semi-AFK, um, you know, I'm always at the computer and stuff anyway, so it's not like I'm really not doing anything anyway, like, it's not hard for me to do that um, once a minute, so yeah, 51k XP per hour, pretty happy with that, I am, for a magic short bow and rune arrows, as a pure, that's not bad, I reckon. So yeah, I like that. And also, it's pretty cheap as well. It'll get expensive if we start using the blowpipe. But yeah, it's nice. Hello, 66 HP. Nice. Ah, we ended up with uh, 207k points. Right at the end, we kind of did lose our mind a little bit. And our health went up to plus two. But there we go, 200 points. I'm going to quickly buy some overloads. Because next time we go in here, we can use overloads now. So range pots to make it completely uh, free besides the entry. So that's nice. Buy some overloads. Like that, make sure we got some absorptions. And once we are start getting a nice backlog of them, we can then start buying uh, the herb boxes and things like that. So yeah, nice. Except I'm not going back there because I've got my blowpipe now. Let's have a look at the stats and stuff on the blowpipe. 116, put blowpipe on 122. Oh, don't you just look like an absolute pimp. Also, I realize I should be using our black van braces in here because they're better than the mithril gloves. Oops. Um, yeah, look at that. That is nice. Awesome, very cool. That's my computer, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, should uh, oh man, Liz, I just like the look of it. It's really nice. I just realized as well, is it actually just Zola upside down? I think it might be. <laughs> very cool. Um, yeah, blowpipe achieve. So first time I've had a blowpipe in the entire time of Old Screen Sky. I've always wanted it, but when it first came out, you know, it was like twenty, fifty mil, something like that. And yeah, now I can't believe it's so cheap, and I've got it. So that's absolutely awesome, guys. I don't. It's probably been a video of me PKing with it already, but yeah, plan to do a bit of PKing with it. I think I'm just gonna try some PKing with it, but I'm probably uh, gonna use it to the G all spec. I think it's uh, probably better that way. But yeah, probably with rune darts as well for PKing, because uh, also I don't know. Well, I don't know if rune darts or darts in general in the blowpipe save with the Arvos or you use every single one that's in there. So I'm not sure about that. Plus. They're really expensive anyway, even if you do keep them. It's like the price of a D-Bolt. And if you throw them away every time, it's going to fucking add the hell up. So, yeah, probably rune darts because I'm a noob. But, yeah, awesome. I'm um, not sure if this video is over just yet, so I won't do the outro just yet because uh, we only did one did one quest on one level. I do want to try uh, training some strength in there. I was, yeah, I don't know. I think I could be able to get a little bit of strength XP in there. could be nice. But, yeah, that was good. We got 48k XP. At an average of 50k XP per hour, so almost an hour in there. Absolutely awesome. Loving it. But yeah, I guess that is the end of the video. Um, I decided to end the video because I went and checked and I had like 18 minutes of clips already. So yeah, let's not ramble on any longer. Um, I yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's uh, one level, but you know, it's me learning and pretty much showing you how to do Nightmare Zone as a one defense pure. So it's something interesting in there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.